Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome to the video and today I'm going to be doing a full day of eating 2000 calories and believe it or not 2000 calories is actually a super low calorie intake for me and it was actually the lowest I dropped my calories during prep uh, for my bodybuilding show last September. So during a normal fat loss phase where I don't have to lose like 10 kg and get dangerously shredded, uh, I would never actually drop my calories this low uh, and the lowest I usually go is about 2300 calories. Per day. So yeah, it really does go to show that we are all different and we all require our own uh, specific calorie needs. But yeah, 2000 calories is the goal for today and I'm going to show you exactly what I am eating and I'm actually going to take you through a couple of my supplements as well uh, because I have started taking one or two new ones uh, very recently. So we are going to start with some overnight oats and I prepared this yesterday by adding uh, 30 grams of porridge oats to a bowl followed by 30 grams of white chocolate. Uh, optimal nutrition whey protein that I got as a sample then I added 150 grams of fat-free quark uh, that you get from Tesco only 90 calories and 17 grams of protein per tub which is unreal uh, and then that was followed by 60 ml of low fat milk then I just wrapped it in some cling film uh, and put it in the fridge to set overnight and to finish it off I'm gonna add 100 grams of this summer fruit mix uh, to the top these are so tasty and only uh, 46 calories per 100 grams and I actually already have them prepared uh, I heated them up in the microwave for like 40 seconds just so they are not completely frozen. And I am also gonna add 20 grams of this super nutty granola. Uh, and it is just so important that when you are using granola, you are sparing with it and you measure it out because it really is so calorie dense. Okay, let's give this a go. I'm actually very intrigued see what the white chocolate whey protein tastes like. I actually have high hopes, so I think it's gonna be good. I think if you're a big fan of white chocolate, you will love this. Like if you go to the shop and get a white Kinder Bueno, this is your kind of thing. But yeah, I think I just love the taste of like normal chocolate so much uh, that I would prefer if this was like a chocolate brownie whey protein or something like that. It's still really good though. It tastes kind of like a Milky Way. And that fat-free quark that I used, it's kind of like 0% yogurt, but it's not. It's quark, which is like a soft cheese, I think. Uh, that comes from Sweden, and it actually has the weirdest pronunciation ever. It's like, it's spelled K-V-A-R-G, but it's pronounced like Vari, or something like that. I actually, I'll try and find the pronunciation. One sec. Kvari. It's weird. Kvari. He does something weird at the start. Like, I think with the K and the V together, you're meant to, like, do a certain, like, I don't know, but I do know that it is very popular and it also tastes so good. So if you see it in Tesco, get on it. I think they do special sometimes. I picked it up yesterday and they were like two for two euro, two tubs for two euro, which is pretty good. Okay, so breakfast is finished and the time is currently just about 12 p.m. So I didn't have uh, my first meal for like four or five hours after I woke up. And something that I always like to do uh, when calories get low is fast for the first few hours of the day. And this is technically intermittent fasting, but I kind of just like to think of it uh, as just pushing my first meal back by a few hours uh, because I want to save more calories for later in the day. So even though I think intermittent fasting is a great tool, you know, like I'm not married to it. I don't think everyone should do it and it's only a great tool uh, if it suits you because at the end of the day, there are plenty of ways to create a calorie deficit. So you could fast for the first few hours of the day, uh, you could reduce your portion sizes, etc, etc. So it is just about finding uh, what works best for you in terms of creating that deficit. But anyway, it is time to do some work so I will see you at my next meal. Okay, I am back in the kitchen and it is time for my second meal. So I have the ingredients all laid out and ready to go. I'm going to have half of this uh, tossed salad bowl that you get from Tesco. I'm going to have two of these round wholemeal pittas uh, that you also get from Tesco. These are so low in calories, so per pitta, uh, there is only 101 calories. I'm gonna have some of these puri puri chicken sizzle steaks that you also uh, get from Tesco. And the great thing about these is that they have a lot of flavor from the puri puri sauce or whatever it is uh, that they use. But the calories and macros are pretty much uh, the same as 
just normal chicken. So the puri puri sauce adds a lot of flavor, uh, but doesn't really contain any calories. Then over here, I'm going to have some 50% less fat cheese uh, that you get in Aldi. 50% less fat is really good, so it is really low in calories, and it seems to be in high demand because it is literally never there. I thought they, you know, just stopped stocking it, but I went in there yesterday uh, and they had it. Then we have some jalapenos, green and red, of course. Uh, and lastly, I'm going to use this Louisiana Chipotle sauce. And this sauce is actually great because it is pretty low in calories, only 71 calories per 100 ml, uh, but it is so spicy that you literally only use a drizzle. So a low calorie sauce that you literally only use a drizzle of is going to be a super low calorie sauce, if that makes sense. Okay, so I am going to fry 150 grams of these puri puri chicken sizzle steaks on the pan. I'm gonna add a little bit of smoked paprika. And while they are cooking away, I'm gonna add half of this tossed salad bowl to my plate, which is 180 grams. I'm gonna lightly toast two of these wholemeal pitas. I am going to stuff the pittas with 20 grams of this 50% less fat cheese, so 10 grams each. Then in goes the chicken that I have chopped into little strips. Then we add the jalapenos, so I'm gonna use about 30 grams in total. And last but not least, I am going to add 20 ml of this Louisiana uh, Chipotle sauce that you get from Tesco. Okay, I am actually starving, so I am very much looking forward to this. I can already tell it is going to be ridiculously spicy. Mm -hmm. They say there is no smoke without fire and that Louisiana Chipotle sauce is definitely a combination of the two. It is so smoky, uh, but it is really spicy at the same time. Honestly, so good. Kind of reminds me of something that you would get in Nando's, except I genuinely think that it could be better than Nando's. And the reason that I am having such a large portion of salad is just because like my appetite is so big and I know that two pitas alone won't fill me. So if I was to have like a corn on the cob on the side or something like that and go full on Nando's, then I think that I would still be left feeling pretty hungry after my meal. So salad is the perfect choice because it is obviously just so low on calories and you can make it, you know, quite tasty. That tossed salad bowl from Tesco is really good. Add a bit of sauce, add some chicken to the top, pretty good. One last look. So good. Ooh. All right, so let's talk supplements. And this, the pump pre-workout uh, from my protein is a pre-workout that I have been uh, using recently because it doesn't contain any added caffeine. So over the last few weeks, I have been making a special effort to cut down on my caffeine intake uh, and my sleep is literally so much better as a result. So this here is my sleep between the 13th and the 19th of April. And as you can see, getting over seven hours a night was a very rare occurrence for me. It only happened one night uh, that week and my average sleep for the week was six hours hours and 48 minutes and if we compare that to last week you can see that I am getting seven hours on a very consistent basis like there was only one night uh, last week where I got less because I was having a few drinks and didn't get to bed till half three so yeah I'm delighted about that to be honest and I actually feel so much better and I know caffeine does have its benefits when taken before a workout but I feel I was just becoming so dependent on it and I literally couldn't work out without having some form of caffeine beforehand which just shouldn't be the case but yeah this the pump pre-workout from my protein has a pretty good uh, ingredient breakdown. So per serving, there is six grams of L-citrulline and L-citrulline helps uh, reduce fatigue during a workout and will also help increase the blood flow to the muscle and that is what is going to help you get a better pump. And it also has 3.2 grams of beta alanine and beta alanine is another ingredient uh, that will help reduce fatigue during a workout, especially during uh, high rep sets. And high rep sets are the story of my life at the moment because I am training at home. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty good. So this flavor here is rainbow sherbet. Sherbet? Sherbet? Sherbet. Sherbet. Yeah, rainbow sherbet flavor, I think. Uh, and it could be worth considering if you are in a similar boat uh, to me in terms of caffeine. But yeah, the POA is to finish this off and then get in a leg session. 
Uh, so yeah, I don't think I'm gonna show you that, so I will see you at my next meal. All right, so workout done. I am back in the kitchen, and I'm gonna go for a quick and convenient meal. So those of you who follow me on Instagram will know that I am absolutely crazy about this vegetable uh, and chicken fajita mix that you get from Aldi and per bag uh, there is 454 calories and 46 grams of protein I know them calories and macros off by heart and yeah I genuinely think if I could only buy one thing from Aldi for the rest of my life it would be this it is top quality and while that is cooking away, let me fill you in on these little beauties. So these are uh, mini soft tortilla boats that you get from Tesco, I'm sure. Most of the main supermarkets do them, like Super Value, Dunn Stores, etc. And per boat, there is only 38 calories, which is pretty good because uh, you can get bigger or larger boats and in one of those, uh, there is 80 calories. So a pretty decent saving there. Uh, and I'm gonna have two of these with my meal. I'm actually gonna heat them up in the microwave for like 30 seconds, uh, so they are nice and warm. I'm also going to add some Cajun seasoning because it is quite a mild fajita mix. So if you like a bit of a kick, uh, then this is a very good addition. So keep me company, swear to God and on my feet, but they not under me. The fumes on your sweater smell is so lovely. And I want to sell my soul, but you could buy the leaks and don't believe in me. I actually never sit in this seat. Feels a bit weird. We are looking good. Mm. Honestly, so so good. The taco boats are such a treat. Like they are a little bit small. Like if they were an actual boat, they would be the worst paddle boat ever. Uh, but they do bring that a little bit extra to the meal. So if you have the calories, get them in. Or if you wanted to go down the more voluminous route, which I do sometimes, uh, you could add a bag of cauliflower rice to the fajita mix. And that really does make it a large meal because the fajita mix is quite, you know, voluminous as it is. So that plus the fajita mix does fill you up quite a lot, which is nice. Okay, so I want to take you through one last supplement that I have been using lately, uh, and it is these ashwagandha capsules. And research on this supplement shows that it works quite well uh, in reducing stress, in reducing cortisol levels, and also uh, reducing anxiety related to stress. And if you keep up with my videos, you would have seen a, a few videos ago that I did a cortisol test and the results came back, uh, and my cortisol levels are slightly elevated. And I think one of the main reasons for that uh, is because I I do tend to stress out quite a lot. So although I don't think it is a miracle worker by any means, uh, because you know your lifestyle factors are obviously going to be so much more important uh, for your stress levels and your anxiety uh, versus supplementing with something like this. Like I think the fact that my sleep has been so much better lately is going to have a much bigger impact on how I deal with stress uh, versus you know taking one of these capsules. But if you do suffer quite a lot from stress or stress related anxiety, uh, then ashwagandha could be something to look into. Uh, and I take one capsule which is 450 milligrams. Uh, with my breakfast every single morning. Okay, so it is time for my final meal and I'm actually gonna try and make something a little different. So I'm gonna have two slices of this uh, Brennan's Be Good 60 calorie bread. I'm going to have uh, one banana. I'm going to have some powdered peanut butter that you get from my protein. And I'm also gonna have some of this snickerdoodle uh, protein powder that I got as a sample from PE Science. So yeah, it's gonna be like a banana, peanut butter, and a snickerdoodle sandwich. I do not know how it is gonna taste. I do not know uh, what this snickerdoodle protein will taste like either, but there is only one way to find out. So we are gonna start by toasting two slices of some 60 calorie bread. And while the bread is toasting, I am going to add 15 grams of powdered peanut butter to a bowl, followed by 10 grams of snickerdoodle protein powder. And then I am going to add a tiny bit of water uh, so it forms a paste. And the trick is not to add too much water and add little by little because if it does become too watery, you are pretty screwed. All right, this snickerdoodle is probably one of the best things I've ever smelled. Honestly, so good. Okay, so this is the kind of consistency that you are looking for. Then you want to chop up a banana. All right, so moment of truth. Let's give it a go. 
Mm. That snickerdoodle protein is actually a game changer. It tastes a bit cinnamony. Is that what snickerdoodle is? Let me look this up. Snickerdoodle is a type of cookie made with butter or oil, sugar and flour and rolled in cinnamon sugar. Bingo. Wow. I honestly think that this could be better than your standard peanut butter uh, and banana sandwich. Like if you are a fan of cinnamon, get a snickerdoodle protein sample and give this a go. And to top off this full day of eating, I am going to wash that sandwich down with this chocolate deluxe fulfill protein bar. Ooh, little chocolate bits like sprinkled all over it. Pretty cool. And as most of you probably know, I am not the biggest fan of protein bars just because I think they are a little overrated as a protein source. Like in this bar, there is 205 calories and 20 grams of protein. And that calorie to protein ratio just isn't that good at all. So for example, you could get like 20 grams of protein in like 100 calories uh, from a really lean protein source, like chicken, turkey, uh, egg whites, etc. So I kind of see protein bars as more of a treat than something that is going to be really good and helping me reach my protein target for the day. I actually want to give you a good explanation as to what it tastes like, but I think the best explanation is that it literally just tastes like a chocolate protein bar. Like I pretty much think that all chocolate protein bars taste the same at this stage. It probably is a little bit more chocolatey than your average would. But yeah, like, it's nice. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap the video up there, people. I hope you enjoyed it. And as of today, I hit 9,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is just crazy. So yeah, if you're watching this and you have not subscribed, please help me out uh, and do so below. And also every single thumbs up and every single comment goes a long, long way. So it would be unreal if you could do even one of those things. Seriously, I would really, really appreciate it. Oh, and I am actually gonna display my total calories and macros for the day on screen now, just so you can check them out. So. Yeah, thanks for watching everyone again. I really appreciate all the support uh, and I will see you in the next video.